Hey guys, it's Priya and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, as the build up to ICSC and IIC exam start, I know that you guys will be under so much pressure to perform well in your board exams because I remember being in your shoes last year. My god, when I prepared for ISC 2018, I was under so much stress and so much pressure that I was looking for like these tips and tricks online, you know, as so you know, so as to find out how I could score well in this subject or how I could top ISC and all of that because I felt like I'd never get into a good college if I didn't get good marks. Know me, my name's Priya Chatterjee Ray and I was one of the ISC toppers of 2018 because I scored a 99.25% in my board exams. And um, over the past few months, I've just been getting so many questions from people from people I know, my juniors and some people I don't know about how I prepared for ISC, how I studied for certain subjects and I realized that if I could make a video like this and put it out there for all you guys, y'all would get some help at least I hope in your preparations for the big days. So yeah, a few days ago I put out a post on my social media asking y'all to come up with questions for um, ISC preparation, any doubts you had, any tips you wanted and the response was amazing. So thank you to, a, a big thank you to anyone who replied to my questions. Um, yeah, um, so without further ado, let's get started on the question answer session. Okay. So the first question I received is how I built my concentration during ISC. Now, big secret for all children, students out there, when I was preparing for my ISC, I did not give up my phone. I had my phone, I would watch TV, I went out to watch movies, I attended parties, and I had all my social media accounts active. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is because I want you all to know that, people, you know, concentration in different people differs. If I would have given up my phone, I would keep thinking at the back of my mind that I'm missing out on something, that my friends are at a fun party and I'll never get to go, or my friends are um, cracking jokes on our WhatsApp groups and I wouldn't know about all of that. So I didn't want to keep thinking about that. So I took permission from my parents and they were okay with me keeping my phone on me in the build up to my ISC so I had my phone with me I am not on Facebook but I did have my Snapchat, Instagram, WhatsApp active and running. Now the most important thing you guys need to know about concentration is that you should never study at a stretch like you cannot sit and study for six hours straight and expect to remember anything because trust me you won't. Human beings just aren't built that way. So what I would do is I would study in short intervals. I would study throughout the day, but like I'd study two hours, take a half an hour break, then study for another two hours, take a 15 minute break, and that's how I used to study. Now for the two hours I would study, I'd keep my phone outside my bedroom or my study room and I wouldn't think about it. So I'd switch it off and I'd just leave it outside, focus on what I was um, preparing at that point. And when I hit my two hour mark, I would reward myself with like 15 minutes of social media time and watch YouTube videos and like just chat with my friends and do all of that. And in that way, I could keep my concentration consistent and um, I wasn't distracted too much either. But one thing you guys need to remember is that when you sit down to study, you need to turn your notifications off because that ping, ping, ping or the vibrate that vibrations that come from your phone can be really distracting so if you take away nothing from this video just remember that when you have isc turn off your notifications right uh, so the second question i have is about mocks and if i gave any mocks so i know that there was this entire craze going around um, all school students before their exams that is that they sign up at all these institutes and they go and give mocks there so it's like they're giving isc multiple times now that's something I didn't do. I have great friends who like to help me out for some reason. So what they did is they gave the mocks themselves, but they also gave me photocopies of the question papers. So those question papers were just like sample papers for me, which I solved in my preparation for ISC. Now, since we're talking about question papers, let me just tell you something. Solving past year's question papers, sample papers, mock papers and exam papers from different schools is very 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 important and for several reasons right 
so when i used to solve these papers they were they were what i solved after i had studied uh, and finished studying the entire syllabus so the papers was my revision now what i used to do is i see for 3 hours i would time myself at 2 and a half hour period so i would try to solve one paper in 2 and a half hours now this helped me because it helped me increase my speed of solving papers and um it also gave me a lot of practice with time management so when we come to the day of isc or the d day you have to remember that it's actually just a time game it is how well you can manage to answer your questions in those 3 hours and nothing else all your studying revi revising means nothing if you cannot manage your time at the last moment so i used to practice solving papers for 2 and 1/2 hours so that when i got to isc i would have half an hour extra in which i could either solve an extra question or in which i could revise another important thing that you get out of solving question papers past years question papers is that you can find out the pattern that there is in every years questions i'll give you an example in 2016 in isc history there was a question on mussolini's foreign policy now come isc 2017 there was no question at all from that topic in history but we had short questions like the compulsory two mark questions on it but when it came to our year we had another long question on mussolini's foreign policy or i think it was hitler's foreign policy it was from that topic so you see there was this pattern where these chapters were repeated every 2 years i'm not suggesting that that is what's going to come this year but if you solve enough past years papers you can uh, decipher this pattern for yourself it's something that our teachers in school helped us with you know they tell us what were the probable questions they make us solve past years papers or tell us to solve past years papers just so that we could know for ourselves what the probable questions were or what the most important questions were because then we know what to revise on the day of the exam um and as for sample papers mocks and other schools exam papers those are just revision please don't try to find out what a probable question is from these papers because they're hardly ever right but they do act as a good revision strategy stress right so uh, a lot of people ask me how i dealt with the stress of isc and if it's bad or how to minimize it right so by nature i am a very excitable person i get very excited over excited and then i can't focus and um i just stress a lot about a lot of things and i used to be so scared that if i wouldn't do well i wouldn't get into a good college and then my life would be over but you don't need to think about that so much after i see i realize that at the end of the day it's just another exam you're going to take and it doesn't define who you are because there's so much more to what life throws at you after isc no one no matter how well or how badly marks are not what defines you so you don't have to stress so much about it um stress in small amounts is good if it acts as a booster to you if it pushes you to do well but don't let it uh, overcloud your judgment or or just take over your entire all your senses um <laughs> the question about how i used to minimize my stress is a really sad one and i'm embarrassed to admit this but my stress buster during isc was hindi serials i used to watch a lot of hindi serials um whenever i get stressed and the reason i do that is because um these serials were so ridiculous that i'd end up laughing at them or making fun of them and that would take my mind off my studies and for that period i'd be feeling better so that's just what i did to deal with my stress and you guys could try it out maybe it would help you the next question i have here is um about when to start studying now i know a lot of you have messaged me saying it's december already and i haven't started studying oh my god am i going to fail isc no you're not going to fail isc and i'll tell you why i started studying for my isc exams with complete concentration in january so i have been a consistently good student throughout my life um i did decently well in icse which is my class 10 exams but obviously it wasn't even as close to how i did in my isc exams so i knew that i had to step up my game if i wanted to get to a good college and if i wanted to do if i wanted to pursue economics which is such a difficult subject to pursue so 
um what when i started studying in january i opened my books as if i were opening them for the first time on the 1st of january i sat down and i made my timetable and i started studying on the 2nd of january so if you think that i have studied this chapter before i've given an exam on it i have given it for half year these are for my selections and i don't need to revise it so much that's not going to work you have to start afresh because then if you start afresh you realize things you did you thought you knew but you actually did know and you just um approach the topic with a new mind and with a fresh start and that is something that helps you it's what helped me and that's one of the biggest tips i can give you guys is that when you start studying start a fresh start as if you haven't studied it before because that way you don't have any preconceived notions when you um approach your studies for the first time and it's just something that will help you study without overconfidence Right. So the next questions I got were like a series of questions. It's how I prepared for my IIC, what tuitions I took, how I scored a hundred in eco, how I scored a hundred in pol science, how much math would I do a day, how would I study history, and all of that. So I'll give you like a brief breakdown of how I studied all my subjects in the three months leading to my IIC and during my IIC. But if you want like an in depth. knowledge about each of the subjects i gave you can um leave that in the comments below and i'll make a new video about each of these subjects separately but i'll just tell you how i prepared and what my strategies were so when i sat down on the 1st of january to make my timetable the first thing i realized is that i had to chart out what i would do and how much i would do in a day now like i said you can't concentrate at a stretch for so long so what i did is i broke my day up into little fragments so 2 hours half an hour break 3 hours half an hour break 2 hours 15 minutes break and things like that so what i do is i wouldn't study the same subject or the same topic for a week so it's not like you sit down and you decide okay i have to finish my history syllabus so you will only study history for the next 7 days it's not going to work your head's going to empty of all the information anyway so what i would do is um when i wake up at 8 am i'm not a morning person i can't wake up earlier than that because my brain just wouldn't function i'd get up at 8 am and i'd start studying say one topic in history then i'd study that for 2 hours and then i'd take my break and when i come back i'd revise that for 5 minutes so i just read through the same topic or the same chapter i had studied and then i would put that aside and i would start a new subject altogether so like a typical day in my calendar would be 2 hours of history 15 minutes on my phone 2 hours of pol science bath lunch um solving say 20 sums of maths tea biscuits food whatever um and then eco for the rest of the day so that is something that you need to know if you try to study the same subject at a stretch you will forget it by the time you come back to it because say i gave one week to history and then i'd study five more subjects after that by the time i came back to history i'd forget everything but if i did these little incremental um uh, you know these marginal fragmented study portions then i'd have a greater chance of remembering it now how i would study is also something that's very interesting so what i do is i would um study my chapter in the following way i read it for the first time then i read it again and the second time i read it i read it slowly you know and to myself in my head and i try to memorize it um then i shut my book and try to recite it out loud to myself and then i'd go back and i read it again So by the time I'd finish doing this in these small portions, it would be time for my break. So I'd go for my break, come back, and then the little revision period I spoke of. In that, I would write down everything I had um studied before that, and I have proof of that. I'll just show you one of my practice books where this is the revision I did. So if you, I don't know if you guys can see. I just wrote down about like the Second World War, and this was my revision. Um, again, before going to bed at night, I just read through all the things I had studied that day. Obviously, I wouldn't go through the math sums I had done, but I'd read through my English poem or my history notes, 
at night once because science says that if you sleep on something you know sleep over it at night you have a better chance of remembering it and it worked well for me because um at once if i read it once before going to bed i had a greater tendency to remember it later and because i built up this pattern by the time i had to give my first exam i had already revised the same chapter multiple times if any of you found any of the tips um helpful in my video please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and share it with as many of your friends as you possibly can so that they get some tips and tricks and some motivation to study too i was going through a lot during my um exam period but that's story for another day but all i can say is that if i can top and get my 99.25% you can too it's not a big deal it's something that all of us are capable of doing just need to work towards and yeah do subscribe to my channel give me a big thumbs up press the little bell icon under the video to be notified every time i post something new and yeah let me know in the comments if you want more videos like this and um i'll just keep trying to help you guys out as much as i possibly can so yeah that's it for this video best of luck for your exams i hope you all do very very well and i hope that i was able to help you in any way i could so yeah bye